um, I began to realize that the the God that I was serving at the one I was in church was a God that I viewed as basically being in the building um, one hour a week, and then the rest of the time we kind of lock him up, we leave, and then we can call on him when we need him and get him out of the building again. We spring him out of his trap. Mm -hmm. And then we put him back when we're done with him. But I began to realize as I looked around me, as I met people, people who in this evil, dark world were supposed to be people that um, I was supposed to be afraid of, people that I was supposed to avoid, were actually people that were seeking for God, and many of them had a, a tremendous love for God and a relationship with God that I envied. It was a personal relationship that I didn't have uh, completely. It was a, a day-to-day uh, you know, type of experience, and, and drivers and stories out there. My word, the stories that I saw on the road and the things that God did but uh, what really shook me up, one experience, a driver, and I wish I still stayed in contact with him, he uh, went over with me, and uh, Saturday night we went over there and we partied, we drank, and, you know, don't need to go into details sure. what other things we did. But we came back, and I slept, and Sunday morning I walked in, and here was, uh, everybody called him Bing. He looked like a cross between uh, Howard Stern and Frank Zappa, if you remember who that is. Right. Tall guy, uh, ex-Special Forces military guy, long, wavy black hair, hooked nose, and he had this gigantic King James Bible open on the table. And I walked in, and I go, Bing? I said, you're a Christian? He goes, yes, I am. And I said, well, well tell me about it. What's, what's going on here? He said, well, he said, I kind of had a loose relationship with God. And he said, then one day, he said, I came home. I had been gone for a while. He said, I came home and I found my wife and 12-year-old daughter had been raped and murdered in my house. And I walked in mm. on it. And I'm, I was just stunned. And he said, all I could do, he said, you would think I would hate God. But he said, I just ran to God. It was all I could do. And he said, I realized then, he said that, I went to the trial of the guy that, that did it. They caught him. And he said the whole time, he said, I was expecting, trying to work up hate for this guy. And he said, all I could do was look at him and realize that, you know, he was a person that needed the love of Christ as much as I did. And I'm sitting there listening, and there were other drivers that had gathered around by then. And we were just sitting there listening to him, and as he talked out of the uh, this this large... King James Bible, he not only read about grace to us, he showed us grace in his life. Mm -hmm. How that he could for find forgiveness in his heart for what that man had done to his family. And then to, to realize that that same forgiveness extended to him and to all of us. <laughs> 